when OG got disrespected with that backhand, he said, nah, I'm about to put y'all on notice with this flashback, because y'all got my game clearly misunderstood. So we begin with this devilish creature, the blonde hair, blue eyed American. And keep in mind that World War II just ended, but his ass is still overseas to torment these poor people. And if y'all ain't peep, look closely, that's Brian Hawk's coach. His ass really been fighting the Japanese people for the last century. But my boy Kamogawa and Nekota are just chilling walking down the street until we see Shawty running with the worst possible form. Her ass was just asking to get caught moving like that. But they was chasing her ass down to some big ass military vehicle. All because this man Anderson wanted to beat her cheeks up. This nigga trying to catch a case. But Nekoto was not about to let that slide. So Buddy squared up instantly. But look at him. That's the face of a man who's ready to violate. Because he then said poof poof pow. Had his ass leaning. But Kamogawa was not about to let what happened to his man slide. So he squares up and gets the same sort of treatment. Hit his ass with a straight counter. And now he just proceeds to beat on them for the rest of the night, literally. Fight back, Fight back, Fight back, Fight back. He really done left bro with his trotters out and both of them laid out. But now they proceed to go on this mini training arc to train up to get their get back on this man. They trying to run the ones. But then something very tragic happens during this time. My man Nekota tries to grab a cup from Shorty's hand, but that joint was not connecting. Apparently one time during training, my man Kamogawa hit him with a mean one, which ultimately set him off to becoming punch drunk. And to make things even worse, the shawty that they saved that night has radiation poisoning from the bomb dropped in Hiroshima. So she's essentially cooked. This shit is tragic. But my nigga Nekuta is just built different. Punch drunk or not, he determined to stand on business. So he's the first one to get his ones with the American. And look at him. Bro is cheesing like this shit about to be light work. Bro's probably not even getting paid for this. He's just doing it to get a kick out of it. Too bad for him though once that bell rings we didn't flash forward to my boy Nekota just completely unscathed while Anderson's ashes just buckled to his knees grieving in pain but now we finally get to boxing bro goes in for the jab but he hit him with a <laughs> double slip look at him he done said let me go around that shit two times Anderson is just desperately swinging and missing then he gets caught with a clean body blow and dog really tried to hit him with a backhand. But my boy is really on that Miyata nope. and nope. Itagaki chiming. He really seeing his movements in slow mo nope. like he got the shower gun. And is just permanently targeting that body. <laughs> But we cannot forget, homie is legit punch drunk. So bro barely knew where he was before the next round started. So he starts going crazy trying to put this American down on Japanese soil for good. He said, gut check, uppercut. He then said, homie, I can hit that shit two times. And then was like, hold up, one, two. He is putting on a straight clinic. This is a master class performance. He then yet again sets up another crazy one, two. He is putting this nigga in a fucking mix. I ain't gonna lie, this might be even worse than that beating Takamura gave Hawk. But Anderson got that American pride he out here thinking president truman is watching him from home on a flat screen tv so he said fuck honor only victory matters here and she shot him with a nasty hit to the back of the head this shit really dumb pissed me off he was already punch drunk now he gets hit in the back of the head and now anderson is looking down on him like he's free eats bro then proceeds to lift his whole body up with a devastating upper and jesus he just proceeds to get put in an infinite combo and the ref is not stopping this he said nah homie his ass is still standing that's how you know boxing was crazy back in the day but his ass is not stopping he's just straight cheesing as he pounds his ass to death <laughs> and Nekota is just finished and Kamogawa is walking out with his lifeless body but before he leaves he hear bros talking that shit so he said he moving like Danos fine I'll do it myself but we find out that homie is now in a coma so you know Kamagawa is fuming with hatred he got to get back for his boy and proceeds to do the craziest training regimen i've seen a normal human being do in anime he out here going head to head racing trains every morning literally impossible and he also starts punching this 
thick ass log into this hill to try and make his fist into an iron fist this nigga cannot be human i'm sorry but we even got anderson out here training for these ones he trying to be prepared as possible this shit is about to be a movie because the day before the fight bro managed to push that whole log in the hill that is one dangerous ass man but now it's fight day but before he goes out there he told his coach nigga slap me so of course he stood on business But now we begin the boxing. And bro is squared up looking straight crazy. He got that Hall of Fame Intimidator badge activated. So Buddy charges in fast as hell. And delivers a mean body blow. Or so I thought. But peep, look at him, bro. His ass left a whole imprint of his fist. He said he felt that shit straight down to the bone. Bro is definitely taking out 99.8% of characters in the verse with that blow. But we didn't quickly fast forward to Kamigawa flat on his back all beat up. But he gets back up, but then he just gets yoinked from all directions with a jab. His ass is out here looking like a straight 55 overall against this man right now. As he gets knocked back down to the floor with a mere jab. But he ain't giving up. He gets back up again. But shit is not going as planned. Punched him so hard, they even have to shoot shows the rest of the round because you know his ass got cooked and coach is out here thinking about throwing the towel but that nigga said get that weak ass shit out of here and goes on to stand on business and lord jesus nah if you're tumble rolling like that in the ring hang it up buddy because there ain't no way you getting hit that hard and it's still conscious even anderson is shook bro sent him flying across the ring but he's still standing on business but the round ends and as he's about to go out there and get more punishment echo tuck came back from his coma to give him the most inspirational right hand in history and that shit got him motivated but too bad all the motivation in the world doesn't disregard the skill gap because he then gets bought with three consecutive lefts followed by an upper and everything kamigawa is throwing is just getting blocked as he gets face checked so hard his eyes about to pop out its socket but we all know Kamigawa has them heavy ass hands. Even though the Americans blocking him, he still feels the pain. Them imprints is no kind of joke, my nigga. My man clearly has something inside of him that we clearly do not know about. And my boy Anderson says that shit too. So now he starts getting hasty. Trying to put his ass down no matter what. As he charges up a right hand and clobbers him straight in the cheekbone. That right there is a definition of eating a punch. But now we got another Hawk situation. He said he going for the kill. And as it looks like they about to exchange blows, Anderson socks him first with a downward right. And his ass is falling face first. Ain't no way he regains bout. Fight! My good sir. I don't know how you go from this to that. But what I can say is that this is the embodiment of standing on business. And now it's officially crunch time. He cocks his head back with a swift jab and he starts charging up his final right hand. But as he swings, that body is open like free eats for Kamogawa. But before he can land a hit, he gets his face caved in. See this See that light? That's how you know it's time. Even he knows what's about to happen next as he braces himself. But damn, nigga! That joint is guaranteed taking out 100% of the verse. But he still ain't done. Like Vince Carter said, I got one more in me. But even though half his ribs are legit gone, he manages to put up a guard. Only to find out he made a huge miscalculation. Oh shit! Oh, shit. He's right there, you fucking pussy! Kamigawa said he just ain't trying to win. He trying to put you under, nigga. This is absolutely ridiculous. That is the craziest impact I've ever felt from a punch in all of fiction. Bro done shattered his whole ribs, plus his own fist. Keep in mind, there was no type of power system in this anime. It's just hands, my nigga. And that was all she wrote. Kamagawa was declared the winner, and Brody died a couple days later from his injuries. Just kidding, but who knows it? Yeah, Oh, oh, oh.